Bartonella is maybe the most mysterious of what uh, people call the Lyme co-infections. And it's probably the most mysterious because it, it's also more than a co-infection. Bartonella actually gets into the veterinary world because it's carried by mammals. It's classically known as cat scratch fever, so cats are known to be the reservoir. And so basically it can be transmitted by flea, by lice, from cats, and then to humans. Now, while that's the famous way it's transmitted, we also know almost all mammals can be carriers. We've even found it in about 10% of dogs, it's about 30 to 40 percent of cats are what the estimates are, but we have found it in whales. So we know Bartonella is easier to move around than some of the other tick-borne illnesses. So what is its correlation with chronic Lyme? So Bartonella can cause all the same symptoms as Lyme. So it can cause fatigue, joint pain, rashes, and neurological symptoms, just like Lyme can, which is where you get some confusion about is this Lyme, is it Bartonella, is it both? So if you have a cat and you have symptoms that are very similar to Lyme, you really need to look at Bartonella. Can come from your dog too, I just wanna phrase that. A little lower chance, but if you have a cat or a dog, consider Bartonella if you're having that mysterious chronic fatigue, um, rashes, um, pain, neurological problems, uh, really can come from just fleas from uh, an infected animal. And your, your animal may be healthy, they may be just a carrier. Bartonella is a disease we learned a lot about if you look back in history as people came down with HIV. And as people come down with HIV, they become immune suppressed and all of a sudden these bugs that have probably been around for a long time become more obvious because in immune suppressed people um, these bugs cause major problems. And this is also where if I were to kind of classify the arguments for Bartonella, it gets even more muddy than Lyme disease. There are some people who think that about 25% of all mammals have Bartonella, including humans. That would mean there's about 80 million Americans who have a Bartonella. Now most of these are asymptomatic. And really when I look at symptomatic, there's somewhere between maybe a million um, maybe 2 million um, people infected with Bartonella. Now CDC rates of cat scratch fever are much, much lower than that, but that term is being abandoned for Bartonellosis, which is a little more encompassing than just the simple um, cat scratch fever. So if you have mysterious symptoms, especially like seronegative reactive arthritis, where you're just, you're not feeling right, something's wrong and you don't know, start with testing. Lyme disease is a good place to start, but we always run a Lyme and co-infection panel, including Bartonella. The one to test is Bartonella hensile, that's the place to start.